Shortly after the raid by Japanese aircraft on Pearl Harbor, America decided to do something. The result was the Doolittle Raiders raid on Japan. They trained in Columbia, South Carolina, where there was a lake available for them to uh, fly over water and uh, have fairly realistic training. Unfortunately, one of the planes crashed during training, and this little video is the story of that airplane that was pulled out of the lake only fairly recently. I was working for Colonial Life and Accident Insurance Company at the time that this uh, wreck was raised. There was two of us veterans employed there at the time, myself and uh, Dick Rasmussen, who's pictured here in the red uh, shirt. We got okay from our boss to go out there and watch it coming up, and it was uh, quite moving to see it come up out of the water. The only problem was, as they raised it up, they uh, didn't bother to drain the water out of it before they lifted it, and it broke the airplane. It broke it here, as you can see, uh, right in front of the wing root, and the wings were also broken because that's where they tied the uh, tied the lift cables onto webbing. It absolutely ruined the airplane. You can see. Uh, the damage to it everywhere. The, uh, the occupants of the airplane uh, did not get out. You can see up at the top of the cockpit area that it's a very small area for them to get out of an emergency by going straight up and they just didn't survive getting back through the cabin and uh, getting out the normal way. Of course it could have had something to do with the fact that they pulled it up out of the water at night. Somehow they managed to get out, but it sure didn't do the airplane uh, much good. Maybe that's part of the rigging problems they had, was trying to rig it around there, around the fuselage and the wings in the right way, and uh, somewhat uh, due to their impatience, too. So you may be wondering what the heck happened to this airplane in the end. Where is it? It's in an aircraft museum in Mississippi, and the story of the aircraft is really the story of its uh, survival at the bottom of the lake and, and uh, and how it was brought up and fixed up as much as possible but not too much was possible as you can see it's a regret because it's a really special airplane and a, and a reminder of a special time in our history I'll let the rest of these frames go without comment 